Welcome to, or welcome back to the Clean My Space channel. My name is Melissa Maker and I am an accidental cleaning expert. And being a cleaning expert means that I get tapped for a lot of advice when it comes to products and tools in the cleaning space. Whether it's someone emailing me a question or a DM or a comment, or even reporters when I talk to them for media interviews, they'll always say to me, what vacuum should I get for this particular situation or circumstance? So in this video, which I'm doing in partnership with Dyson, I'm gonna walk you through some of Dyson's latest and greatest vacuum tools, and I'm gonna tell you exactly who each vacuum would be just right for. You can consider me to be your personal vacuum shopping concierge. This cutie is one of the newest tools to come out in the Dyson line. It's called the Dyson Omni Glide, and it's what they refer to as a pencil vac because it is so skinny and slim and easy to sort of tuck away and keep out of sight and out of mind. Now, a couple of unique things about this, aside from the fact that it is probably as light as a pencil, uh, it's got about a 20 minute runtime. Of course, that is always dependent on how you use it and what you are vacuuming up. Uh, it's got a fairly small bin, but the thing that I love, love, love about this is this omnidirectional head. These brushes counter rotate, so they can go in all kinds of directions, but they're always flicking dirt from both directions right up into the vacuum, making it an extremely efficient tool. Now this head is not interchangeable, I did ask about that, but what you'll notice is that it's quite floppy, and rightfully so, it's designed to go in pretty much every single direction. So you can really maneuver this around well. Now, a couple of other cool things to note, uh, you can turn the vacuum on with the touch of one button. So some people really like that so that they don't have to push the trigger or pull the trigger in and move at the same time. It actually helps with uh, some mobility issues. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. And it also goes super, super flat. So you can get right under furniture with this. It's a, it's a pretty useful tool to have, but because it's got the small bin and the relatively short run time, who would this make sense for? Well, it would make sense for someone who lives in an efficiency space. So a bachelor or a studio, a student dorm room. These are all great sized spaces for this type of tool, so long as they all have hard floor surfaces. This will not work on carpeted surfaces. Now it does come with a couple of tools so that you can use it, you know, to get into crevices and to clean some upholstery. This would also be a wonderful second tool or a supplemental vacuum if you have a full-sized vacuum and you live in a large home. So if you've got an upright or a canister and you don't wanna drag it out on your random Wednesday to do a little touch up, you can grab this instead, do your quick cleanup, park it, and then get your big guy out for later. What I have here is the Dyson V8. This is one of the first Dysons. I actually got my hand on the V6 first, and then I got my hands on the V8. So I'm very familiar with this machine. Uh, it comes in a couple of different options. This one that I have here is the Absolute. Uh, but what's really great about this machine is you're getting all of the wonderful Dyson technology that people know and love at an entry level price. So you're still getting the suction, the filtration. This has 40 minutes of battery runtime, and it's a really good tool that can work on both hard floors and soft floor surfaces. And because of all the attachments that it comes with, you can use it for the other types of vacuuming that you might need to do. For example, the car, the stairs, upholstery, etc. So who is the V8 for? My nephew Andrew and his girlfriend recently moved out into their first condo and he messaged me and said, Melissa, what Dyson should I get? And I recommended that he and his girlfriend get the V8. Why? because the condo that they moved into was roughly 800 square feet, has hard floors, they also have some rugs, and they have a cat. So this made a lot of sense for him. Also, they didn't wanna spend a whole bunch of money, but they still wanted a Dyson vacuum. So this was perfect. Anyone who lives in, I'd say a thousand square feet or less has both hard floor and soft floor surfaces or upholstery. And even someone with a pet would really benefit from having a V8, especially if they're looking for a budget tool, but they want an amazing vacuum. The V11 Outsize came out shortly, of course, after the V11. And the idea was to take the technology in the V11 
but make it appropriate for people who have larger spaces to clean. Because one of the challenges that Dyson was running into was that people didn't want to cross the line into the cordless vacuum space because they felt like if they lived in a larger home, the cordless vacuum wasn't going to be able to tackle everything that they needed it to do. In fact, we have a whole review video on the V11 Outsize. I'll link that for you down below if you're interested. When they sent this to me and I unboxed them and I compared the V11 to the V11 Outsize, I was totally sold. And admittedly, that you can tell by how dirty this one is. This is the one that we use in our house all the time. Now, why is this so special? There are three key features that I think are really important to note. First, it has a 60 minute charge and a swappable battery. It comes with two batteries that you can easily clip in and clip out. So this gives you a total of 120 minutes of runtime, which is great. Next up is the bin size. So they took the V11's bin and they upped it by 150% to get this bin. The head is 25% larger than the head that comes with the V11. Now, why does this make a difference? Because if you live in a small space, you want something that's small and maneuverable. But if you live in a large space and you're used to using a full-size vacuum and you're kind of having trouble thinking about using a cordless vacuum to clean your whole home, having a large head actually cuts the amount of strokes that you need to do to clean a space. So with all that said, this is the vacuum that I recommend to people who live in larger homes. For example, uh, I love this vacuum. My sister and her husband were looking for a vacuum and they asked me which one they should get. I recommended the V11 Outsize for them. Their house is about 2,400 square feet. They have both carpet and hardwood. This is great for them. Uh, friends of mine in California just moved into a new house. They asked me the exact same question. Should we get the V15 or the V11 outsize? And I recommended this one for them because understanding the type of house that you live in, the type of floors that you have, and the type of cleaning that you're gonna do will really inform the best vacuum for you. And if you have more square footage and you plan to do a lot of cleaning of those floors, you're really gonna benefit from this. And the thing that I love is you don't need one of those full-size vacuums. You now have the flexibility of a cordless vacuum uh, but with the performance of a full-size vacuum. All Dyson vacuums come with cool tools, but then they also have additional tools that you can pick up on the website. And this is the light up crevice tool that you can use with the V11 outsize. I just think this is particularly cool because we know that when you're cleaning in crevices, sometimes you can't always see what you're trying to pick up. Well, this one is uh, a plug-in tool, which means it uses the power source from your vacuum and it activates a light when you turn it on. So you can get into crevices, get that great suction, but you can also actually see what you're trying to vacuum up. If you love the latest and greatest technology, then you would love the Dyson V15. This is their newest in the cordless vacuum lineup. And what is so exciting about this is that it uses a class one laser to light up the floor in front of you so that you can see literally every single piece of dust that you wouldn't normally be able to see with just regular light. The laser casts kind of like a halo over large and small pieces of dust so you can get your floors like the cleanest of clean. And that is why this laser head is super cool. I've tested it out and air Areas that I have otherwise missed. It's kind of like the laser just goes, oh, no, missed the spot, and you can catch it. So you are definitely paying more for this type of technology. In fact, Dyson told me that the laser is one of the most expensive parts they've ever put on a vacuum, and they spent a lot of time researching this. But if you're one of those people that like loves the latest and greatest, this is going to be the vacuum that you want. Now, the other cool thing that this does is it uses um, a piezo sensor, which is essentially uh, like they put a microphone inside the bin and the microphone listens to all the dirt that kicks around and comes in and cycles through. And what that does is it tells the battery the size of the dirt particles that are being picked up, which then if your battery is in auto mode or your machine is in auto mode, will allow your machine to optimize battery use. So the 60 minute runtime that you have on this battery 
battery is stretched out and expanded based on the customized decision that your vacuum has made about the dirt in your space. It's like really next level stuff. Um, I found that the battery runtime on this is pretty exceptional. Uh, you can really take this for a spin and do a lot of cleaning with it. The laser head is super useful. It also comes with a couple of interesting accessories. My favorite being the hair screw tool because as someone with long hair, uh, sucking up hair on the floor always gets stuck in small attachments. So when you're using the mini motor head that is the hair screw tool, it now sucks hair up and shoots it directly into the bin, not allowing it to get tangled up in the brush roll, which is a game changer. Like I really hope one day they incorporate that into all of their heads because it is incredible technology. So who is this vacuum best for? Well, it can be used the same way, let's call it a V11 would be used, the regular size V11. It works on hard floors and soft floors. You can use it in all of the other ways, upholstery, vehicles, stairs, etc. But you're also getting that additional cool tech. So if you are debating this sized cordless vacuum, you're sort of going between the V11 and the V15. You would err on the side of the V15 if you want the latest and greatest. If you're not converted to the stick slash cordless vac world yet, and you still want a corded vacuum, well, might I offer you the Dyson Ball Animal 2 Pro. This is the vacuum that when I started my cleaning business back in 2006, that I coveted. Everyone swore by this vacuum. Now, I wanna walk you through the reasons why so many professional cleaners like this particular vacuum. It's got a super long cord. That's really important. And you might not think it is, but you want that long cord so that if you're vacuuming a, a large room, you can plug it in in one spot and you don't have to keep unplugging and replugging. So that's number one. Number two, you've got this really wide head. And this head is designed specifically for carpet. It's got these red nylon bristles and it's on a rotating cylinder. And the purpose of that, that's called a brush roll, the purpose of that is to dig into carpet fibers and pull out what is stuck in there. So besides that, the ball itself makes this a very easy vacuum to rotate and move around. Whereas with other vacuums, you're really limited in terms of your range of motion. The ball allows you to maneuver the vacuum easily with moving your wrist. So that's quite helpful. Uh, the bin is super easy to empty. I can tell you uh, again, as someone who runs a professional cleaning company, having a vacuum that has an, an easy to empty bin that you know is hygienic and doesn't spill all over you is really important. The other thing that this vacuum comes with is a large suite of additional tools, including a grooming tool. So if you have a medium or a long haired dog, you can actually use your vacuum to brush and groom your dog. I wish my cat would allow me to do this, but she won't. Now it comes with a hard floor tool as well. So you can obviously use this on both hard and soft surfaces. And the vacuum wand allows you to get into all kinds of vacuuming scenarios. It's very long and you can imagine the rest of the vacuum to be your little centralized vacuum station. And then you can just change out the tools that you need to accomplish the various tasks. Now this would be best for someone who lives in a larger home with mostly carpet or carpeted surfaces and someone who has pets. Also, if you're someone who just hasn't crossed that line yet into the cordless space, this really is an excellent vacuum. You're getting all of the wonderful Dyson technology and tools, but it's corded. Don't underestimate the power of the tools that come with your vacuum. Dyson vacuums come with uniquely designed tools that do some really difficult jobs. Make sure you take the time to learn about each tool, get to know what they do, and maximize your vacuuming efforts. I mentioned this at the top of the video, but I'll say it again. This video was sponsored by Dyson Canada, so a special thank you to them, and also thank you for sending me all of these fabulous vacuums. If you wanna learn more about these vacuums, you can visit dysoncanada.ca or click the link down below. My hope is that I have walked you through the ins and outs of these five Dyson tools, and I have helped you make sense of what's out there and hopefully 
make a better decision, or at least inform you as to what's going on in the Dyson vacuum landscape. And that brings me to this week's common question, which is, based on everything that I just told you, which one do you think is right for you? I already told you that in our house, which is 2,800 square feet, we use the V11 outsize. It makes the most sense for us and it is perfect for the cat too. So let me know yours in the comments down below. Once you get a vacuum, here's a video that'll teach you how to take care of your vacuum. And if you wanna support the Clean My Space channel, you can do so by clicking this button and subscribing to the channel and by checking out our online store called Makers Clean, where we sell our premium microfiber products. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.